Cancer. This is Jackie Child, and this is your general re reading for the pick of November 14th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these readings, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTallman.com. Okay, so the first thing that pops up here for Cancer is the signing of a legal contract and or document. Uh, some kind of outing. Uh, this could be with family or friends, or it could be date night. Okay. Uh, it's asking you to get the rest that you need, so kind of like the calm before the storm is what I'm seeing here. The help that you need is on the way. We've got a jumper here. We're going to take it. Okay, and it's a week about getting things under control, positive thinking. Bottom line is, I see you taking authority, you're putting your foot down, and you're taking back your power. Okay, so the first card that jumped out for you guys is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is financial independence. Um... Financial strength, financial independence. So let me say this. Let me speak. I'm only speaking to my singles here. If I have single cancers out there, you may be deciding to remain single for right now. And then we have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, get out your head. You're overthinking things. Cancer, when you overthink things, your energy goes from up here to down here really, really quickly. Stop overthinking things. We have the Knight of Cups, someone coming rushing in with an unexpected offer of love. This is going to be huge if I've got singles, but also for my married couples out there. This could be in family and or friends as well. Moving forward, we have the Queen of Wands, Leo energy here. Um, someone grounded, centered, uh, someone wanting to come in and take charge. Where I said the help is that you need is on the way it is here and there's also a particular dog of either i'm gonna say a cocker spaniel or a springer spaniel that's going to resonate with someone okay and the center of the reading bonus we have the two of wands you have two paths to choose um and it does show that you're going to trust your intuition because that's going to lead you to choose the right path we have the Knight of Wands. Someone may be in the home. Someone may be out the home. Someone coming for an extended stay. Definitely some kind of movement on the home front. The Seven of Cups. You've got many options being presented to you. Now, Cancer, when I see this and as you've got many options, I'm going to ask you to slow down and think things through. No quick decisions this week. Um, yeah, just slow down a little bit, okay? And we have the Lover's card. Strong in love. And we have the Ten of Wands. Overcoming your obstacles. Pushing them to the side. Making a new path. The correct path. And the right path. Now this is also a Divine Timing card. So Cancer Divine Timing means that things have to line up and fall in place for the next event to occur. Okay, so you might be losing patience there from what I can tell on something. Alrighty. So let's move forward with these messages. All right, Cancer, we have the sun, as in the sun is shining on everything that you do. The Nine of Wands, that's a bajiggity card that says you're feeling the scattered energy. You're anxious, you're overwhelmed, and excited all at once. Could be eclipse energy that I'm looking at there. Six of Wands, total victory and complete success. Some of you in the spotlight or some of you are getting ready to do some public speaking. On the Queen of Wands, we have the Two of Cups. There's that date night I was talking about. The outing. Get together two people. On the Two of Wands, we have the Hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're not moving forward, not moving backwards, no movement. It's not so much a feeling stuck. I think you're losing your patience. There's something here you're waiting on and you're losing your patience. With that, we have the Emperor. Dominant, prominent, take charge type person. This is someone that comes rushing in to save the day. And we have the Six of Pentacles. There's something coming in to restore your financial balance. Something to get see you through. It's not a great amount of money. But it's enough to get by, enough to see you through. But this also indicates... That somewhere between now and the first part of the year, you're going to be able to help someone else out financially as well. Eight of Wands comes in. Total happiness, total contentment, and love arrows flying around. And on the Ten of Wands, we have the Five of Cups. Okay, Five of Cups is the second time this has said, Stop overthinking. 
get out of your head. There's something here you're dwelling on. When you need catch yourself dwelling on something or overthinking, you need to really move away from that energy quickly. Bonus card for the week. The Devil. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, be warned of someone in your circle taking advantage of you or using you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com uh, for personal readings. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.